What's going on everyone? We gotta do a little bit of work on the truck today. Actually, the trailer. We gotta do ourselves a changing of the lights. Let's get started. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta change this little marker light. It's on the back of the trailer. Um, about a week ago or so, it it uh, I was checking. You, know, you could see the marker light, and uh, it was almost had like a loose connection. You know, just like flash. It just kept like it would be on, off, on. You know, like you hit a bump and come on. Then uh, like more I got down the road, you know. It would stay on but then like there was it went like three or four days and it was fine then you know I leave the house and it's like super dim then you know last night I'm uh we were going through um, through Georgia South Carolina it gone it's gone but I had bought this light like a week ago in hopes to change it and it started working okay, so I was like, ah, forget it. We'll just we'll just let it ride. So, so we're gonna change this light today. But first, I'll show you what we got going on here. A couple little tools you may need. <clears throat> you know, just a regular pair of pliers. Maybe like a you know a little pair of, you know snips. All else fails. You know, and you got your pocket knife. Um, just a regular. Which one is it? We got here, yeah, marker light red LED. You know, just a just a basic, you know, basic light. You know, I uh, I bought these connections here, trying to make it a little bit easier. You know, Let's see, come on there, come on. You know what is it? All right, all right. So I got these got these two little connectors here. <clears throat> So instead of like, you know, cutting both ends and getting the whole electrical tape thing, you know, you know, obviously this goes on the trailer end and this is on the light end and you just, you know, come on, get in there. Pretty snug fit. Mm. Boom. There you go. Boop. <laughs> come on. Yep. See, there we go. That's it. It's pretty snug in there. So, uh, so I took the, you know, put them on the ends of the, <clears throat> on the light here. You know, you just, just kind of just press them in and, you know, just, just clamp them down. And I got two more here that we'll have to do on the trailer. And we'll be done. You just gotta, you know, cut it off and, and hopes that it just goes right back on. And, and that's the actual problem, you know. So, I would assume this is actually the problem, so, but let's go out there and um, see if we can make this happen. All right, so we got our, uh, got our little tools here, our light. Let's go check this out. Probably turn this off first. Be right back, light. Be right back. We're over here in uh, Hope Mills, North Carolina. Just made our delivery. We got a little while before we got a pickup, so <clears throat> I thought this would probably be the perfect time to do this. Well, I actually got daylight here. So, obviously, so these are the wires, this is where it's coming from, this is the old connectors, so we're probably just going to, we'll just go ahead and snip it right there. Alright, <clears throat> and like I said, we got to... Oh, see, this 
is already going to come into play here. Just cut this up just a little bit here. A little bit more. Hopefully everything will be okay here. So we just made our delivery just right down the street there. And all these all these trucks are parked right out here, so but they're coming into the place too, so they're they're cruising. Let's get rid of this. Alright. <clears throat> I said we gotta. Oh, where's my little. Alright, there it is. Whoops. Well, hopefully, traffic will be okay. Don't go crazy on me. <laughs> I've seen some of these trucks coming in, man. They were booking it, man. So I don't have a pair of wire steppers. This may not work here. Yeah, let's go the old reliable. Do, do, do. Yeah. Come on. Not too hard. You always think about when you're doing jobs like this that <laughs> man <laughs> I hope it I hope this is the problem. That would suck if I did all the work and <laughs> it wasn't the actual problem. So, these here, self-explanatory, just twist the wire pretty good here, get pretty tight, make sure you get it on the, into the small end, because the big end is obviously where it, where it plugs, so you don't want to put it in this way and crimp it, then you're done, you're toast. Good. All right. Give it a little snug. All right, we're good there. Same for the other side. Almost there now. Just don't make the mistake, and you know, I actually already thought about this before I did it. But like, don't don't plug it in now. I mean, you could plug it in, you know, and yeah. You know, but th these these things are these things are pretty tight here, so just just feed it through. Yeah, this little deal here. <clears throat> This little plastic thing off here. Come on. Well, maybe don't come off. I thought it would. Oops, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Here we go. One more time. <clears throat> this light is, uh, Pretty snug, man. Here we 
go. All right. Obviously, black, black, white, white. Here we go. Well, Push the wire too far through. Oh, it's going. Yeah. All right. All right. I think we're done. All right. Well, let's go turn our lights on. See what happens. Hopefully it's not an epic fail. <laughs> I don't think it will be. Oh, she's guarding. You watching over everything? Good job. All right. Yeah. All right, I can see it from here. Good deal. <clears throat> I just wanted to. It's probably okay. I just want to uh, just give it a good snug. Make sure we're good. Yeah, man. We're done. Yeah. Replace the light. Hi, uh. Maybe she get back to the truck. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, this old trailer here. What is today? Sunday. And, uh, we should be in, in, uh, there we go. We should be in, uh, Indianapolis on Monday. And we're gonna trade her in get a new trailer so uh, actually I should put these outside but uh and that's what's kind of holding off on it you know the trailer you know the light was okay then uh But I'm gonna be trade. I gotta trade it in, and uh, <clears throat> and if you know, it, it's not in working order from when I I first per or I didn't purchase it, but when I first picked it up, if it's you know everything's not in working order, then they obviously they're gonna they're gonna charge you for it. So so yeah, not bad. So we're done here. Change the light. Easy job, man. Easy job. I wish I'd have probably done it when it first happened, but you know, that's all right. But we're good now. All my lights are good. I don't have to worry about driving at night. It got pretty dark. Like last night, we drove for a little while at night. Man, it was dark back there. <laughs> it was dark. But uh, yeah, from uh, Hope Bills, North Carolina. Just changed our marker light on the trailer. Easy job. Look at this. Didn't even get dirty. Not bad. Easy job. Anyone can do it. Yeah, cause even if you're a company driver, <clears throat> you know, you know, you, you take your trailer to a shop, and you know, how much time is it going to be? You know, you you could waste time. You know, just waiting for someone to change the light when you know that light, that light was like I don't know, seven bucks. Most connectors were like five bucks. I mean, if you're a company driver and you're in a decent company, they'll reimburse you for it. Just change it yourself, man. Don't even worry about that crap. It's better than getting a ticket, you know? You know, because like this is, you know, I don't want to say it's a company trailer, but it's a, it's a, it's a rental. 
so like I said if, if it's not working the way it was when I got it then you know they're gonna charge you for that so I ain't gonna worry about that you know so uh, we're done here Hope Mills North Carolina we gotta get on down the road we gotta get just over the border South Carolina and get our pickup and we're heading towards Tennessee for tomorrow morning so we got to get out of here so we'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching catch you guys down the road